a secret space mission, an unmanned flyer in space for 780 days non-stop. What was it doing? Geeksvana is your drone channel. The US's mysterious space drone has come back to Earth and still nobody would explain what it is for. NASA has an impressive unmanned aircraft program working on projects as far away as Mars and as close as improving traffic management on a local city level. Certainly, a visit to their unmanned aircraft mini site shows a wealth of content which is all refreshingly positive. For example, earlier in October, NASA announced a joint test system with Uber. The goal of this system, known as Urban Air Mobility or UAM, is a safe and efficient air transportation system where everything from small package delivery drones to passenger carrying air taxis operate over populated areas from small towns to large cities. This type of testing with NASA working closely with large private companies to monetize the skies above our populated areas certainly seems to work hand in hand with the latest drone regulations coming into effect across Europe and those proposed around the world. There is a link in the description to my series on the latest EU drone regulations which are coming into law from 2020 onwards. Back to NASA and another project they are planning is sending a drone to Titan, Saturn's largest moon which will involve a 170 kilometer journey for their amazing Dragonfly drone. Again, you can watch a two minute drone news update on this by following the link in the description. So certainly, NASA and the United States Air Force are heavily invested in drones and will have a large part to play in the future of unmanned aircraft. Which leads us nicely onto the main subject today and the secret space mission the Air Force and NASA have been conducting for the past two years in orbit around the Earth. The X-37B space plane landed on an airstrip at NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida at 3.51 a.m. local time on Sunday the 27th of October. The landing was publicized by the Air Force and they did indeed confirm a successful mission. However, just what the X-37B was doing in orbit for 780 days is a closely guarded secret. The next mission is planned for next year, 2020, when it will launch into space from Cape Canaveral. Air Force Secretary Barbara Brett said of the mission, each successive mission advances our nation's space capabilities. The X-37B looks like the retired space shuttle, but it's a lot smaller, about a quarter of the size at 29 feet long, or the size of a small bus. It is launched on a rocket and enters into orbit around the Earth, carrying out its secret work, including experiments from the Air Force Research Laboratory. According to the statement released, the X-37B program performs risk reduction, experimentation and concept of operations development for reusable space vehicle technologies. Also, with the length of time the unmanned aircraft is in orbit for, it is able to run more long-term tests on technology to measure the effects of prolonged exposure, etc. Lieutenant Colonel Jonathan Keane, the X-37B program manager, is quoted as saying, this milestone demonstrates our commitment to conducting experiments for America's future space exploration. The program was originally formed in 1999 to develop two vehicles, an approach and landing test vehicle and an orbital test vehicle, with the help of Boeing, which was a larger X-40 model that went on to conduct seven successful test flights in 2001 before being grounded permanently. Shift to 2004 and the X-37 program it was now under the control of the Defence Research Agency DARPA who went on to produce the X-37 by 2006. This development program eventually led to the X-37B. Its first mission lasted about eight months. Since this success a second version of the X-37B was launched in 2010 and since then the Air Force has flown five missions with the unmanned aircraft totaling an eye-watering 2,865 days in orbit. The secrecy about what they're doing up there does of course lead to conspiracy and speculation. Everything from testing troop deployment to new space deployed weaponry has been rumoured, but the more reasonable theories, including those put forward in a 2017 report by space nonprofit Secure World Foundation, suggest the most likely mission is an on-orbit sensor platform and technology testbed. This of course is in line with the limited information the Air Force releases about the missions and does sound plausible. However, the same report did mention that it could also be a deployment platform for orbital surveillance satellites, which, if correct, would mean the US government is concealing satellite deployment from the United Nations Register of Outer Objects. Whatever the mission is, you have to admit that the X-37B is one impressive unmanned aircraft, which shows just how far the development of UAS has come 
and how far the prosumer sector has to grow over the next few years. We thank the crews from NASA and the USAF for their service in the front line of the drone concept. What are your thoughts on this record-breaking flight? What do you think they could be doing up there? Is it significant that the Defence Research Agency run the project? Let us know your views in the comments below. We really enjoy reading all your comments and interacting with our viewers. On which subject, if you're new here, please consider subscribing and to get the latest drone news and content first, hit the notification bell. Fly safe, everyone. Please remember to like and subscribe.